Hey everyone, this is Matt Wilson, QTE Manufacturing. We're doing our part one of our series. We are doing automate for an arm. So it's gonna be a manual automated plan. So first thing we're gonna do is, we'll look at our print here. We got a blueprint on the model. We're gonna do a bow hole pattern. We're gonna do a slot. We're gonna do a um, overall distance here of the seven inches. We're gonna do the sphere and we're gonna also do a scan of this front curve right here. So let's go over and we're gonna turn on our surfaces. First thing we're gonna do is the, right here, this is how you add in an auto align. Click there, right click, add target. And I like to go over here and use my quick mask. Makes it a little bit easier to pick my targets. Here, here, this is our datum B. So there's our seven points. So now we're gonna go and click our eight holes which is pretty easy using our auto hole axis. Right here, you just click the inside and it's gonna pick all the similar holes. Okay, and we're gonna want a bolt hole circle. So we're gonna construct circle. And then next we're gonna do the slot, which is a matter of clicking here. Right here is add feature from CAD. We can also add our sphere. And also, if you just click on entities, let me zoom out a little bit. This line, we'll do this line and this line, and then you can click add after the fact. So here we're gonna do a distance for our seven inches. And right here you can see it shows us our seven inch dimension. And then right here we're gonna right click and we're gonna construct an angle. And then the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add a, we're gonna measure this surface right here. And we're gonna do a curve to surface points. So we're gonna click this surface. Okay. And then from here, we're just gonna adjust it in the right spot. So right now it's shifted the wrong way. So we're just gonna go 0.3. And that put us a nice curve and we're gonna go by distance. Let's just go 0.5. That gives us a nice little scan right across the side. And we're gonna go okay. And it has a path on it, which means that it is on automated. So we need to change this back to manual. We're gonna go okay. And we look at our targets, we're good. So this path is not gonna get used. This is purely just a path to reference. So what we're gonna do in here is, here's your options. We're gonna do guided build follow sequence, or we can turn that off and we can just grab the points as we want. You'll see how that works when we go to measure. So from here, we'll check that our settings are correct. We can either highlight it and right click change measure settings, manual, four points, we want our projection to be project on nominal. So we're gonna change that. This one is gonna be the same thing. Project on nominal. We're gonna do our slot. Project on nominal is good, five points. We'll check this. Five points is fine. We can actually change that. Let's change it to nine points. We'll highlight all of our lines and check them all at once. Change measure settings, two points, project on nominal, manual. So we're good to go. So this program is ready to run now. So we, in our next video, we're gonna run it with the arm and we're gonna inspect the part. So I hope to see you guys back. Have a good one, thanks.